Well, hello there. I'm so glad that you're here. It's 2.15, which is usually when I begin my Facebook Live. And today we have a real important show. So um, while people are coming in, I'm going to set my computer so I can see your comments. There you go. And uh, oh, 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 oh. there. So now I can see what you're saying as you come on. Um, we arrived yesterday afternoon in Rowbridge, Louisiana. If you've never been here, this is like one of the little cities off of I-10. And if you've been uh, to um, going from Florida to Texas, you're probably going to be on I-10, I-20 or whatever. But uh, you go through a, an area where there's a spillway and there was a, an accident that held everybody up for over an hour. Uh, but we managed to miss it and I was looking forward to that time so we could just kind of like uh, have a, you know, sandwich and just a little picnic. So, but we did. But we, we traveled 304 miles. We came in from Meridian, Mississippi. And if you're familiar with Meridian, that's where the famous country singer Jimmy Rogers is from. Uh, I had planned on going to his museum, and guess what? They're right in the middle of moving it. So, that was disappointing, but uh, we were in a nice area, enjoyed it, enjoyed the hospitality of the people of Marion, Mississippi, if you know anyone from there. And um, we are RV, RVers, full-timers. Uh, we've been full-timing uh, for over uh, 12 years, almost 13 years. And I teach um, art classes to uh, RV manufacturer rallies, RV resorts. Um, I teach at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort where we stay in the winter. And uh, let me see, what else? Um, so anyway, I enjoy teaching. So we are going to be in Brobridge until Sunday morning, and then we have to go back to Florida. Uh, hey, Maureen. And um, we are over in Cajun Palms RV Resort. So if you're coming by there, we could love to see you. Um, we have a full rally planned this week. And um, so I'm breaking away from uh, activities to come on live because I told you I would be here every day at 2.15. We are here to um, attend the International Acadian Festival. I can't say it the way that they say it, but it's like a food festival and it also in, uh, involves a lot of Acadian music. Now we've been in this area before and we are traveling with someone uh, whose maiden name was Prejean and that's a very, that's like Smith and Jones, you know, uh, but we're real interested in the history uh, of this area and I always learn something every time we uh, come over this way. So we'll be going to that on Friday and Saturday if you know anyone who uh, will be here. So um, I'm going to show you the project that we're working on. We're going to go ahead and get started with that uh, because if you are going to do this project, uh, this is, I'm going to show it to, oh, I forgot to say something. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're here. Had to say that. Oh, and if you're not familiar with where you are, this is where you are right now. You're at Artitude Adjustment by Marty Whitney. So I'm going to, um, and if you're interested, this is our blog, which tells about our RV experiences. I've been writing the blog for over 12 years now, and it's, um, uh, it's interesting to me. I'm the only one that reads it. So if you come on, you'll be the only one that sees it. Anyway, this is the project that we're doing today. Uh, this is uh, a barn, of course, got it, and uh, with a silo and a tree. And what we're going to do today is I have 
um, if, if you want to, you can take a screenshot of this and kind of get a, hey, Jean, how you doing? If you, oh, but before I get started on that, though, I want to show you something. This is kind of funny. We went to this place, we went to this place today for lunch. Um, you know the Cajuns know how to eat. Oh my gosh, I, I can't live here, I know that. But we went to this Cajun uh, grocery store in Bro Bridge called Pochet's. It's been in existence since uh, 1962. And this was on the Daily Plate special today. I had, well, I'll tell you what I had in a minute. Smothered beef, pork backbone stew, baked chicken, crawfish etouffee, red or navy beans and sausage, mashed potatoes, sweet peas or black-eyed peas, potato salad, and coleslaw. You just can't live here. You just can't do this every day. So, anyway, I had the uh, navy beans and sausage that was really spicy, very good, with potato salad. And it was done their way, which was really, really, really delicious. So, anyway, I'm full. I don't know if I can eat dinner now. So, anyway, but I enjoyed it. So, that's what's important. I am not going to eat the fig turnover that my friend Linda brought me from the bakery. And I'm not going to eat one of those pecan pralines or is it, I, don't, I think that's it. Not going to do it. So anyway, let's get on to our project now because I know you, that's what you're here for. Now this is the first, this is a project I've done a couple of classes on. I want you to just notice that from where it is measured, it's kind of loosely, you don't have to tie that into a, you know, just kind of scattered paint here. It's not real tight and that makes it a very attractive picture, I believe. Um, also, let's say that the upper one-third of the picture area is for the um, sky. So, saying that, we're going to move on to this. And I had suggested, and I always suggest that whenever we're doing these bags, that um, you put a piece of plastic inside and that prevents the paint from bleeding through. So I just say that every time, whether I need to or not. And it, this, this particular one that I got at Dollar Tree covers the area that we're gonna be painting so it won't bleed through. Now I've already mixed some paint. I haven't mixed the paint, I poured the paint. It was already mixed. And I'm going to start painting the sky area. I think I could get both of those in here if I tried so you could see. <coughs> really am full. But uh, if you want a request that we paint a particular subject, um, don't do like this guy told me one time. He says, do you paint boar hogs? Uh, no, I don't. And I don't plan to. Um, but he must have been a boar hog hunter and he just loved it so don't do like that. I don't know how to paint a boar hog. Okay so this is a very strong blue and I don't want my blue in the in my uh, and you always need to have some water nearby. Um, I'm just gonna dip this in the water and I'm gonna dilute the blue quite a bit because I don't want it to be a real strong dominant blue and I'm just going to be painting in this area if you want to follow me if you're doing it as I'm painting let me know so I can congratulate you on your good taste uh, hey Chris oh my goodness so good to have you here and I'll just keep going here uh, I'm, like I said, we're going to paint about two-thirds down. If I go over, it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it up with the mountains or the hills. Or those are hills, I guess. Okay, how are y'all doing today? I'm so glad you're here. Um, and Chris, you'll like to know this. Um, the spindles are here. 
the let me see who else um marianne and ronnie are here uh and see it doesn't have to be i'm just kind of i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna put some white to make it even lighter you're gonna know that this is the sky by the time we get through here and i'll keep wetting it to make my paint get a go um, a little farther and just going to cover up these areas so you don't see the black this can go very fast uh, I don't have to do it all today because this is going to be I'll see how far we can get this is going to be our project this week and I wish I could play some Cajun music for you while we're working but I'd probably be knocked off the air by copyright laws. Um, you, if you ever get a chance, just Google Zydeco music. What a selection. What a wonderful culture, though. The, Cajun, uh, the Acadians came through a lot of turmoil and problems to be a very strong culture in... Uh, Talk about live off the land. They've made, they kind of made do with what they had a lot of times, just like we did. But their history is very interesting. We went to St. Martinville a couple of years ago, which is where, uh, was it Longfellow wrote um, about Evangeline? And the church, the mother church of the Acadians, is in that area very interesting and um, the people we were with at that time had relatives who had come in or had been sent down here from um, was it Nova Scotia or Canada probably both of them to uh, try to exterminate the race it's a very interesting history of people if you want to y'all can just you can just pipe in anytime you want I'm not just gonna can be the only one on this conversation. So write to me. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm just going to continue painting the sky. It's not falling today. And as it dries, I go back and put a little more emphasis on it too. Like I can put my clouds in a little bit later. Uh, yeah, y'all just pipe in and say anything you want. Okay. I, we will be here until Sunday. Because we're with a Family Motor Coach Association rally called Tiffin Travelers. That means that most of us have a coach that is manufactured by uh, Tiffin Motorhomes in Red Bay, Alabama. Now, does that name sound familiar? Does that name sound familiar, Red Bay? We've just spent a month there, yeah. So, we we had a great time there, and we'd go back in a minute, but I've got other things to do now. So, we got to get back in to Florida, and I'll be leaving next week to go to Atlanta to uh, for something. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to do that to go to something uh, for one of my daughters. So, you'll be there. It's one of my favorite areas there. Okay, now that I have finished coloring that area, I'm gonna take my charcoal pen. I meant to do this a while ago. Could have done it. And I'm going to just pencil in Should have done it a while ago. I don't know why I didn't think of it. I must have been thinking about Cajun food or something. Okay, so we're just going to come here and I'm just going to copy what I painted the other time. Now there is also a little room off of this one. This is where the office is. I don't know what it's but I've just got to kind of like 
go back and fix this. And my heels, which are alive with the sound of music, kind of go in like this. This one goes in like this. And that one goes in like that. Then my tree over here kind of comes in like this. And then there's a road, long and winding road. Okay, goes like this. Down here is going to be the daisy. And over here is where we have the fence that keeps all the horses and cows in. there. I might reduce the size of that. Okay. Now, stay with me. You know how they used to say, stay with me, cameraman. Okay, well, stay with me. We're going to go on and pour some other <clears throat> paint in our tray. And I'll be using some yellow, some red, which I'll be kind of mixing up with a little brown. I know this is coming up and it probably going to squirt out in my face. A problem here. Just open it up like this. Not too much of the brand. Well, I might need more than that. I think I'm going to start buying my paints like this in the tube. I like it. I like it. It's a, it's a very nice. Uh, that's uh, this is deco art. Uh, excuse me. That was acrylic. Tell it's too far away, but I'm using Deco Art Green. And that is an avocado, and this is a Hauser Medium Green, and I'm going to lighten it up with whites. Yeah, I think we can get a lot done today, but we don't have to. We've got Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So, okay, let's come back over here. I think I will use a different brush. Uh, in fact, I'm going to start... I mean, this is probably a really crazy way to start this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. This is going to be the drive, which I'll just go ahead and get it out of the way. It's mostly brown. I'll put a little bit of white in there. And I'm going to get it darker in just a second. So, are y'all with me now? Hey, Laika, I'm so glad you come here. To, came here today. Um, told everybody we're in Louisiana right now. Uh, and I'm about to pop because I ate a lot of dinner at lunch. They have a lot of things in these grocery stores that you don't find anywhere else. I bought some um, bacon wrapped chicken boneless chicken thighs and they were stuffed with some oh bell peppers and onions I think there's bell peppers and onions and everything they do I also needed <coughs> I also wanted um, uh, some candied jalapenos if you've never had those tell me if you have because they're good I 
Okay, and see the pencil marks don't matter. They're going to come off anyway. So I don't fret about that. I'm going to try to get this a little bit darker down here. And let's see how this is going to go in here. You notice I didn't clean my brush off. Not necessary right now. Uh, because I wanted that brown in there. Get a little bit of water on my brush. And this is a red barn, but from this distance it's kind of old and brown red. So, I hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, I felt like ours was kind of rushed with us traveling, but I'm going to learn how to speed these up, you know, do the fast um, videos. I forget what you call it. So you can see this as it's speeded up. going to work to cover this with the paint and I hope you're, you can see this okay I'm trying to sit so I can show you what I'm doing okay that one will be there weird color. I want to get a little more brown. I have some other brushes I could be using on this, but this one spoke to me. It said, use me. So that's what I'm doing. And you know what? Excuse me, I knew this was going to happen. I am not plugged up to my microphone. And I don't do it because... Just a minute. Now, I know you could hear me before, but can't you hear me better now? Thank you, Leica. Um... I always for, seem to forget doing the um, the microphone because it um, attaches to my blouse and if I were to get up to move suddenly uh, it would probably crash everything. So I just kind of hesitate to, to use it because I would forget it. I would forget it and this, then get up and just drag everything down around the room. Okay, now we're not going to worry about that right now. That's going to be something that happens on down the road. Okay, I am going to rinse out my brush a little bit because I don't want it to get too muddy. And we're going to go on and I'm going to start on the green over here. Uh, probably want a little darker. And I'm just staying within the lines that I've written with my, or I've drawn with my uh, charcoal pencil. Love my charcoal pencil. And I use it a lot. Um, I thought there was a little bit more different color. I'm gonna... Okay. Now we're gonna have to show there's a difference in the the distance of these little mountains. 
they're not mountains, they're hills. So, okay. And then over here, we'll just Thank you for staying with me. Get a little bit more water. And I want to... I think when we finish up the green here, I'm going to stop until tomorrow. Uh, just because I want to respect that you all have something to do today. Let's see. And we've got for the rest of the week to do this. Now, if you're doing this on your own, and you have a screenshot, then it should be pretty easy for you to do this design. I'll come down here. I'll go back and paint that little guy later. Now, if you know of someone who enjoys painting, you might tell them about what we do every day at 2.15 Central Time. I'll be going back to Eastern Time next week, so I'll change it around for you. Uh, my body never got used to this time anyway. Hey, Peg. Meg. Meg. How are you doing? Okay, I'm glad you're here. We're just kind of putting the starting touches on this this bag um, Meg actually was in a class in um, what is it Lauren um, Lewisburg, West Virginia. And do you know, Meg, I don't know if you knew this or not, but the people that own that house that was by the campground, the campground was at the West Virginia State Fair. The people that own that campground came to Florida Grand last year and stayed all season. And we got to know them. I mean, what a small world story that is, really. Very nice people. I, my husband could tell you their first, last name, when they were born, where they are, da 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 da. I didn't catch it. Uh, let's see. We're gonna just kind of blend this in a little bit. I don't like that. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. I still have a gray silo to, count, to paint back here. Um, oh, good. Glad you can hear me. And look, y'all, we've moved. I don't know what the problem was where we were because I know I had a signal. But it looks like we're not being interrupted today. So that's a good thing. Um, before I paint the... the that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and tomorrow when I continue this we'll finish up on the colors and everything and and do the things that were uh, like the sunflower the flowers and uh, put a little bit more shading in here so we got a lot to do, but we have gotten a lot accomplished today. I'd like to thank all of you for being here and for um, seeing what we're doing. Uh, now we're attending a. We're somebody's at the door. Somebody. Okay. 
Somebody's at the door. Robert? Robert? Yeah. Somebody's at the door. I think I took care of it. Somebody's at the door. Okay. I'm back. Uh, it has to be real quiet in here. Okay, well, I can't come out. I'm right in the middle of my life. Okay, we have friends that have just come in. They came to see the bling. My last post on my... My last post... Let me tell you this. My last post on our blog talks about all the bling we bought in Red Bay, Alabama. My husband just loves to... Um, what we call, you have to say this right, accessorize our coach. So when we come to Red Bay, we get all these little shiny doodads. Not, not all shiny, but we'll get a lot of doodads. And Chris, if you're still here, you know what I'm talking about. And we enjoy um, fixing up our coach. And Meg, you do too. I'm sure your husband does. Meg is a uh, has a Tiffin RV, uh, and Meg, we're at a rally right now in Brobridge, uh, Louisiana, for Tiffin owners. The name of the group is called Tiffin Travelers. If y'all are ever interested, y'all have a group up north, and so it's just it's really more convenient and. Uh, you're with people that you know whenever you uh, stay in your geographical location, I guess. Okay. I'm kind of happy with this um, basic of what we've done today. But I'm going to go back tomorrow and we're going to do some more. We're going to finish this off. Uh, this is a two and a half hour class usually. So we have done a great deal. Let me see. I want to put where I'm going to have that tree. I want to put it over here. Isn't that a scary tree? Okay, and I might as well do this. Thank you all for staying with me. If you're still here, uh, I might as well. I've got the paint out. Um, it's taking shape, y'all. Okay, see? It's taking some shape. And I've got some work to do on the... Oh, you know, in fact, I need to do this right now. The people at the door are friends of ours. I'm trying to think if any of y'all know them. Diane and Al Strunk from Augusta, Georgia. Uh, we're, we're in the minority. I mean, not too many people are. I think we are. Uh, we full-time. That means for when we go to bed at night, it's always in our bed, and I don't have to pack a bag when I go somewhere. Uh that's okay with me. Okay, now I'm going to paint a... I need a dark door. Paint a door here. And I'm going to draw... The silo over here. Thank you all for being so patient. I mean, the doorbell. I mean, the door. Somebody's knocking at the door. Um, the other uh, the other day, a bug crawled across my table. Um, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen while I'm doing this. Okay. So I think. I finished with this. This guy except for some finishing touches, which we're going to do tomorrow and make it look real pretty. 
So, what do you think? Um, appreciate it more than you know, but for you being here. Uh, I think I was starting to say a while ago, if you have any friends who enjoy painting, um, tell them about this page and that I'd love for them to be here sometime. Just come in and out and um, you might get some creative ideas. You might get some ideas for um, doing something else. Uh, we all, if we're creators, we're happiest when we are doing this. And so, uh, if you know anyone who might be interested, you can S-H-A-R-E this on your page and the word will get around. So, thank you very much for being here today. I'm honored and I will see you tomorrow at 215 Central. Even if I don't put it on Facebook, I will be here at 2.15 Central, 3.15 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Y'all have a great evening. And remember, it's a great day to have. A great day. Bye-bye.